Hi everybody! Today we're going to do some uh, core strengthening activities on the floor, but before we get started I'm going to send you teachers on a little scavenger hunt to get a couple of household items, okay? So the first one I need you to get, we're going to use something like balled up socks, okay? We're going to use these to toss towards the target like a laundry basket. Um, if you don't have these items easily available, just grab anything soft. <laughs> um, we're also going to use a ball, but if you don't have a ball, you can just use a regular pillow and we can ball it up. Um, so great. If you have any uh, building blocks or something like that just lying around that we can stack, you might want to use those too. I'm going to give a couple of options for each of our, each of our activities, um, so it's really up to you which one you want to choose. But, all right, I'm going to give you a second to go find those. Feel free to pause the video if you need to, um, and then we're going to get started. All right, the first one we're going to do is long sitting. So we're going to sit with our feet in front of us just like this. All right, we're going to sit up nice and tall. For some of you, this might be a little challenging, and you're just going to hold this position the whole time. If this is a little too easy for you, we're going to use that ball or pillow that we talked about, and you're going to try to squeeze it with your feet just like this. Good job. If you don't want to do that one, you can do this one. This is the one I'm gonna do, okay? So I'm gonna dump these socks out on one side, put my laundry basket on the other side, and I'm gonna bring socks from one side to the other, and then we're gonna switch. So why don't you pick, uh, pick which activity you wanna do, and we're gonna set up and we'll get started. Okay, so I'm gonna sit nice and tall. I'm gonna turn two hands and place it in the basket. That was one. Two, we're gonna do five. Three, good job. Four, and five. So that wasn't so bad. Now we're gonna switch sides, okay? Good job. For those of you who are just sitting up tall and long sit, just holding that, you're doing a great job. Shake out those legs for a second and then we're gonna do it again, okay? Ready? Five more. One, Two, three, four, five. Nice job, everybody. All righty, I'm gonna get these out of the way. First one's done, not so bad. Okay, the next one we're gonna do is seated leg lifts. I'm gonna show you two ways we can do this. Feel free to pick either way, okay? So the first way, you're just gonna sit, hands on the ground, and we're gonna lift straight up like this. And then we're gonna do it on the other side. So that's one way you can do it. If that's a little too easy, you can add um, really any small object on the floor. And you're gonna go out and over, up and over. So pick whichever one you wanna do. We're gonna do 10 on each leg. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna do the one with the ball to make it a little harder, okay? Ready? Up and over, one, two, three, good job, four, this is tricky, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Good job, everybody. All right, we're gonna shake those legs out. Shake, 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 shake. And we're gonna switch sides, okay? So I'm gonna put my object on this side. I'm gonna sit up nice and tall, hands firmly on the ground, and up and over. One, two, good job. Three, should do these more often. Four, five, Seven, almost done everybody. Eight, nine, and ten. Good job everybody, and we shake out those legs. Great work. Alrighty, the next one we're gonna do is tall kneeling, okay? So, that's when you come up onto your knees and you're not sitting back on your feet. You're up like this, okay? 
So for this one, you can do a couple of things. If you wanna just hold this position, that's fine. If you wanna play pass with a partner, that's great too. Um, if we're having a little bit of trouble um, doing that while doing a really big movement like throwing, you could do a tabletop activity like stop, um, stacking blocks. I don't have any blocks, but you could do that. We're gonna hold it for about 30 seconds, okay? All right. So I don't really have anybody to play pass with. <laughs> So I'm gonna to toss it towards the couch, okay? But I want you guys to maybe toss to your teachers or a partner, okay? Ready? But we're gonna do it for about 30 seconds, so that's probably 10 throws or so, okay? Ready? One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, hopefully your teachers are better throwers than I am, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. All right, good job, everybody. All right. Now, we're going to get those socks again. We're going to dump them out next to us. We're going to put our target in front of us, just like this. And we're going to try to toss them into our target, okay? Ready? So we're going to put one foot forward and tall kneeling. If this holding this position is tricky, we can just hold it. You don't need to add the extra, um, the extra element of throwing anything. You can just hold this position, but I'm going to throw, okay? Ready? One, two, three. Good job, everybody. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Oh my goodness. Oh, there it is. I lost a sock. Ten. Good job. All right. Let's get our pile of socks, dump them out, and we're going to switch legs, okay? All right. Let's get everybody set up. Are we ready? All right. We're going to bring now the other leg forward. Woo. We're going to try to hold it, get our balance. I'm going to get all my socks here. All right. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, everybody. All righty. How's everybody feeling? I'm starting to get a little tired. Okay. We're going to use the socks for the next one too, okay? So I'm going to put a pile over here and I'm going to assume a hand and knee position. It's called quadruped. So you're going to start like this. Oh, let's see. You can't really see my hands. I'll move my pile back a little bit. There we go. All right, and I have my target over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to hold this position and reach with one hand over. We're gonna place them in the bucket, just like this. All right, so we're gonna do that together, okay? We're gonna do all 10. If this is a little tricky, you can just hold this position if you'd like to, okay? Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ten good job all right let's shake it out shake out those arms shake out those legs and we're going to do the same thing on the other side okay there we go oh i gotta switch them to the other side oops so move your basket over get your pile of socks or whatever you're using all right are we ready let's get in our hands and knee position just like this good job ready and one, two, three. Good job, everybody. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job.
All right, everybody. We are almost done, okay? So we just did a lot of moving together. So the next one we're gonna do, we're just gonna hold, okay? So we're gonna try to get into side sitting, just like this. A lot of us have really tight hips, so this is a good stretch for us. Good job. So once everybody gets here, we're gonna hold it, okay? I'm gonna get my timer on. We're gonna hold it for 20 seconds, okay? You ready, set, go. All right, good job. If you wanna do some shoulder rolls, you can do that. If you just wanna hold this position, go for it. If you wanna make it challenging, you can do some more of the soft transferring activities, but I like this one just to kind of relax. Hold on. Oh, there's our timer. Great job. Now we're going to switch and do it on the other side, okay? Ooh, I'm tighter on this side. Ready? Everybody in the position? And go. Good job, everybody. We have three more exercises and then we're going to be all done, okay? You're doing a great job. Hang in there. We're almost done. <laughs> three, two, one. One. Good job, everybody. Okay. The next one we're gonna do, we're gonna lie back. Ugh. Just like this. And you're gonna let your legs fall to the side. And then you're gonna bring them up and fall to the other side. Okay? We're gonna do that 10 times, okay? Is everybody in the right position? Okay. Let's get going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, everybody. Okay, from this position, you're gonna chop, you're gonna tuck your chin to your chest like this. There you go. You can bring your arms across if you want to. You can keep them on the ground, whatever is most comfortable, okay? We're gonna chin tuck 10 times, ready? One, two, three, four, job everybody all righty the last one we're gonna do is um, called half kneel to stand so you're gonna assume this half kneeling position just like this and we're gonna stand up three times on each leg okay I think this might cut off my head a little bit in the video so I apologize but ready if you need to hold on to something or um, hold on to your teacher for help that's fine all right ready if you want to put your hand on your knee as well, you can push to stand up. That's what I'm going to do, okay? Ready? One, two, three, stand up. Good job, and go back down. One, up, two, last one, three. Good job. All right, everybody, we're going to do that on the other side. I'll give you a second to get there, and then we're going to be all done. You're doing a great job. All right, everybody. We're on that other leg. Let's go. Ready? Up. One. Two. Three. Good job. I did those a little fast. So if you're still going, go for it. Take your time. I had such a great time with you guys today. Thanks for watching our videos and I hope to see you soon. Bye.